Well, new tongue twisters for you. Local control funding formula and the dashboard and differentiated assistance. Can you believe it? These are the new educational buzzwords parents need to become familiar with. They are a mouthful. Yeah. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson begins a series of reports on the new way school districts are being held accountable for the performance of their students. Under California's new accountability system, how well your school stacks up against others is not just about how well students do academically, but a host of other benchmarks you need to know about. High stakes testing. Students and their parents didn't like it. Neither did a lot of teachers. But this is how the state determined not only how your child measured up academically, but also their school. In the old accountability systems, it was much more punitive and it was much more defined that if this occurs, then this happens. The state has a new accountability system established when California changed how it funded school districts to the local control funding formula, giving local school districts more control over how they spend their money. They also worked on what the accountability was going to be around student success for the use of those funds. It's called the California Dashboard, and it measures how schools and students are doing in several key areas, among them chronic absenteeism, graduation rates, suspension rates, student achievement, and college and career readiness. The trends now in public education is really for us to find focus on the individual needs of each child and especially during their K to third grade years, identify their needs and meet them where they are. And that is the new approach under the new accountability model. How well a school is doing is based on how well subgroups of students are performing, including foster and homeless youth, students with disabilities, racial and ethnic groups, and students in poverty. No district wants any of their subgroups identified as having not made particular targets on the account of California's accountability model. Nobody wants that. But once you have a subgroup that that is the case, then it really is a great resource at no cost to have additional educational experts work with you. If any of the identified groups of students don't meet targets set by the state, the school is placed in differentiated assistance and offered support. As I want everybody to understand that differentiated assistance isn't a bad thing. It, it's, it's not a punitive thing. In our system, we have to recognize and realize areas where we are not performing our best and then put in a plan to enhance that performance. Well, next time we look at how differentiated assistance works and how it is helping local school districts. It's, hmm. it's all about doing what's best for the kids. Right. And all so, students. Exactly. They measure now for all students, foster youth, homeless youth. Yeah. Everybody has to make yeah. progress. It's like analytics in baseball. <laughs> and it changed the game. Hopefully it changes the game here. That's a good it, point. Yes, yeah. it does. A very yeah. good analogy. Well, I, I, like I, that. Tried. I tried. You can use that next week. I yeah. will. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be